In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create a unique digital element using the Exotic Exquisite Collection, and I'll also show you how to superimpose an image into an egg using one of the Pastel Exquisite eggs. I'll be using Adobe Photoshop Elements 10 for this demonstration, and I've already created a 12 by 12 document and loaded all the images that I'll be using in today's project. So the first thing I've got here is my 12 by 12 page, and I'm simply going to just drag and drop all the eggs onto the page. So just click on them, then drag and drop as you hold. And you can see each time I dragged and dropped, the program created a new layer for me. So the next step is to arrange these in the order that you would like them. So I've got them like this. And let me just increase the size here so you can see what's going on. All right. So this first egg, I'm going to just increase the size. Second one, I'm going to rotate it to the side here a little bit. This one, I'll go the other way, make it a little bit smaller. And this one here and larger. And this last one, I think I'll just make it smaller. Okay. And this small one right here, I'm going to right click and say bring to front. Then I'm going to draw an imaginary box around all of the eggs. And you can see that they've all been selected. Then I'm going to go up to a line and I'm going to say bottom edges. That way they're this bottom edge, they're all even. Then I'm going to click on this first egg and I'm going to right click on it, left click on edit layer style, and I'm going to choose bevel. So when you look at this bar here, it says set size of bevel. So I'm going to click and hold and as I start to drag it, you can see the bevel effect take place. So what I'm going to do is drag this all the way to about, looks like 198 pixels. And I'm also going to add a drop shadow. Click OK, and that's perfect, just the way I want it. So I'm going to look down at this menu right here, and you can see a little FX next to that layer, which tells me I've added special effects to that particular element. Well, I want to add those same features or the same effects to the remainder of the X. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key, hover over the FX, click and drag and drop it onto the layer above. Then I'll click on that one, hold down the Alt key, drag and drop to the layer above. And I'll do that for the remainder of the X. Okay, so now we pretty much have our grouping done. So what I want to do now is merge all the layers together so that this just becomes one digital element. So I'm going to just draw an imaginary box around all of them. And again, you can see that they've all been selected because they're blacked out. Go to the very top one, right click with my mouse, scroll down to Merge Layers, left click, and now it's merged all my layers together so that I can move this around as one piece and I can resize this as one piece. So at this point you could continue to build a scrapbook page, you could add a background color to this, you, there's all kinds of things you could do to it. Um, you can also crop it and then just save it and I would suggest you save it both as a Photoshop file so that you can edit it again or save it as a PNG file. That way it will maintain the transparent background and you can layer this onto any document that, that you choose. So that's the first tutorial. The second one is how to superimpose an image onto an egg. So I'm just going to continue to use the same page, but I'm going to double click on the image that I'd like to crop. So I've got this loaded on my page, then I'm going to go over to this lock, double click, hit OK, and that unlocks the image. Then I'm going to go over to the Marquee Selection, click on that, actually click and hold, and choose Elliptical Marquee. 
that I'm going to draw and it looks like maybe like kind of like an egg shape or an oval around the image that I want to crop so I'll do this about just like that then I'm going to right click then left click on feather and I have mine set for 40 pixels click OK then come down to this menu and choose add layer mask so what that does it removes the portion of the picture that you don't want and gives the image a nice soft edge so now that I've got that done I'm going to go back to my original document here and I'll just scroll up to a, a blank page or a blank portion of the page then I'm going to click on this pink egg and then click and drag and drop and this one is actually from the pastel collection and I'll enlarge it here so we've got that on the page then I'm going to click on the image that we just cropped and that selects it then I'm going to click and hold and drag and drop that onto the page then I'll place it on top of the egg and just resize it to the size I want and then click OK now that looks OK but I think it actually could just blend in a little bit more so I'll go over to the opacity mode here and currently it's set at 100 percent which means there is no opacity as I go down the slider bar it looks like maybe to about 77 75 percent that looks perfect and now it really looks like it belongs inside that egg now again what I want to do is merge these two layers together so I'm this time I'm going to click on the first layer hold down my shift key click on the second layer hover over the first layer right click then left click on merge layers so now this becomes one layer or one element then I'm going to right click on this one again hit edit layer style choose bevel and then I'm going to increase the size of the bevel and let's see maybe take this one up a little bit higher maybe to about 244 something like that perfect and I'll add a drop shadow just for some effect here click OK and that shows you how to superimpose an image in this example we took text and embossed that onto each of the eggs instead of using a photograph on this one we took a lovely Easter verse and just superimposed that onto the egg and you can see this would make a beautiful card so we hope you've enjoyed this presentation if you'd like to find out more about the exquisites collection we do have two volumes each consisting of 12 digital eggs you can find us on the web at www.poppyhilldesigns.com